have an idea in your mind of something you want and you deserve to get it. So how do you get there? Well, welcome to the Idea Space, a podcast devoted to helping you overcome frustration and make what you want a reality. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, high school teacher turned entrepreneur. Now I'm a business development coach. It's my mission to help women bring their ideas to life and get what they want without feeling guilty, selfish, overwhelmed, or lost. Every week, I share topics, tools, and strategies to help you move toward that thing you want. Create time and energy to do the things you love, get clarity on what you really want and how to get there, and most importantly, stop feeling alone with your challenges. Whether you've wanted to create a better business, job, relationship, hobby, or self, I know there's something more that you want, and it's time you were able to get it with confidence and clarity. Ready to have it? Let's go! Hi, welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, and today I'm talking about a question that I get from people who are puzzled by why do I give so much away for free? What people say to me is, you know, your content is so helpful, your emails are helpful, why do you tell us so much? Why do you give so much away for free? And I have to say, this is a fair question. You know, am I a moron or is there a catch somewhere? Am I trying to trick you into buying something? And to be honest, the answer to both of those questions is no, I'm not a moron and I'm not trying to trick you. So why do I give so much away for free? Well, there's three reasons. First, I am a teacher at heart and teaching fills me up. So it's actually kind of selfish of me. Like when I am teaching somebody something, it makes me feel really useful in the world and really valuable. The second reason I give so much away for free is at the beginning of an entrepreneur's journey, money is tight. So you've got to have something to help you get started. I have benefited from many, many, many experts and entrepreneurs, free content. And so free content is vital to get the ball rolling. It's kind of how things are done, especially in the beginning. And third, the digital space is noisy and free content helps the people who are in my audience learn that I'm both knowledgeable and trustworthy. You know, this creates the no like, and trust factor, and that's vital in attracting the right clients to me and repelling the wrong clients from me. So let me explain how this journey works. Creating high quality free content creates goodwill, both in myself and in my audience. I feel like I'm in integrity when I'm doing it. I love creating content. It's really easy for me to create content. It's fun in a weird way, but mostly I'm here to be of service. And you're probably here to be of service too. And if you're a heart-centered entrepreneur, purpose-driven, mission-driven, highly sensitive, then I want you to remember two things. One, people do not pay for information. People pay for transformation. And until you understand that, you're going to keep feeling lack about giving your stuff away. But here's the thing. We can all find information for free. There's tons of information out there and nobody wants to pay for it, including you. People only buy something because of how it will make them feel or because of how it will make their life better. So for all of you entrepreneurs out there, you must be really confident and know the value that you create in the world and share that value. So I'm going to ask you, have you, can you elucidate? Can you say, how does my product product or service make people's lives better? If you don't know the answer to that, that's the question you have to spend some time with, dig around with, and don't be intimidated by it. Whether you sell something that touches somebody on a very personal, emotional level, or whether you sell, you know, makeup or skincare, there's a reason why people want what you have, and it's because of how they want to feel when they have it. So explore that. How does my product or service make people's lives better? And once you understand the value you create, don't be afraid to put that value out there. You don't need to live in fear that your stuff will be stolen, that your information will be taken, or that somebody will take it and start using it as their own. Believe me, there are plenty of people who who do that. Like You can't combat that. The other thing my clients fear at the very beginning is that giving stuff away will stop people from buying from you. And that's you know, actually nothing to worry about. And I'm going to explain why. 90% of the people out there will consume my content and do nothing with the information. So the information isn't what's keeping people from working with me. So 90% of the people out there will consume my content and do nothing with the information 
that's fine. 10% will be able to take it and implement it. And if you're part of that 10%, that's fantastic for you. But what I want you to understand is that at some point, even that 10% who can implement get tired of chasing down free content. They get tired of spending hours researching, watching webinars, taking master classes, and doing everything by trial and error. I promise you, you pay for everything you get with time or energy or money. And doing everything for free is time and energy consuming. So what happens is at some point, your audience will learn that it's worth it to finally invest in themselves. For me, my clients, my, my audience learns that it's, it's worth it to become a client when they're ready to invest in their business, when they're ready to have their hand held and take them through the process, which saves them tons of time and energy. And then eventually it saves them money, right? So at the beginning for many entrepreneurs, it's not yet worth it to invest in working with me. They have a story that it's more worth it to struggle, to feel overwhelmed, or to stay small rather than invest in someone to hold their hand, to get them the transformation. Remember, people pay for transformation, not information. My audience has a strong belief that they're really not worth investing in themselves because they don't trust that the process works. And also they're not sure they can actually follow through. They've cheated on themselves a lot. They've let themselves down so much. So they're just afraid to invest and they don't like asking for help. And at that point, they haven't yet admitted or understand that um, getting help makes them strong, not weak. They just haven't gotten there yet. You know, people don't pay me for what I know. They don't pay me for my degrees. They don't pay me for my certifications. People pay me for the results I get them. They pay me to break shit down, to hold their hand for them, to show them the way. They pay me to stay the course when their life gets in the way of their goals and to get them where they want to go. What do your people pay you for? The same thing. People pay you for the results you get them. And if you're worried that putting value out into the world, if you're coming at that with a fear-based approach or a lack-based approach and you're keeping things to yourself because you're afraid that people are going to take your information and run with it, I promise you, they need your information. They want the value. They just might not be ready to invest. So I'm not saying spell everything out for people, solve their pain points for free, work with people for free. I absolutely don't agree with that. But you do have to know your value and share your value. And so I'm asking, do you know your value? If you're an entrepreneur who's putting a lot of value out into the world and you're frustrated with the people in your audience who they aren't yet sure you're worth the value you know you bring and they're not really ready to work with you and pay to work with you, that's okay. Send those people love. Keep giving them high quality free content. Allow them to help themselves as long as they can. Because at some point, you'll have shown your value so much that they'll realize investing in your help is worth it. Now, part of the problem here is that the marketplace is noisy, and some would say it's saturated, and that might frustrate you. But don't let that stop you. Yes, the world is a busy place, it's a noisy place, and there are many people out there selling services and products. Some of them are in integrity, right? Some are solid, knowledgeable, and trustworthy, and others are not. They're trying to make a quick dollar, and they don't care about integrity. And that's why if you are here to serve, you have to remember it takes time to develop your audience. They need to know that you offer value and that you make their lives better and that you're worth listening to. And after they know, like, and trust you, only then will they consider buying from you. The market has changed so much. Gone are the days when one course is being offered in Instagram and you have to hop on it because it's the only thing out there. There are thousands of courses out there. You have to prove that you're the person to teach. So big questions this week. How much value are you creating? Do you tell people about the value you create? Do you establish yourself as the expert? I bet you don't. A lot of my clients like to hide their expertise because it sounds arrogant in their brain. Do you clarify that you understand your client's pain? Do you clarify that you know where they want to go, that you understand the transformation they want? If not, if you haven't yet done that work, that's the work you have to do. And I have one last thing to say on this topic. 
you know, people tell me all the time that I give really helpful content. And I, I take that because helping is my favorite thing. So if I'm giving content that moves you forward, helps you change your mind and your business for free, then can you imagine what you get when you pay to work with me? Can you imagine what kind of value I bring to my clients? That's the kind of confidence in your value I want you to have. Now, I'm offering a free training on August 22nd at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to teach you how to attract your clients to you in a more authentic way so that they move from being your audience members to paying clients. You can register for that at www.jenliddy.com forward slash attract. That's A-T-T-R-A-C-T. And you'll get notifications of how to join, but be sure to check your spam folder in case I get lost in there. Thanks for staying with me today and showing up for you and your business. And it's important that you take action. So please register for the masterclass so that we can get you attracting and moving forward and showing people your value. I'll see you here next week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. You can access more free tools and video trainings at www.jenliddy.com slash free sources. That's F-R-E-E sources. If you found this podcast helpful, I'd be so grateful if you subscribed and gave a review. And if you have a friend who'd benefit from today's topic, tool, or strategy, please share the Idea Space podcast with her. That way, together, we can help more women achieve their dreams and take action on their ideas. Isn't it time we all were able to get what we want? Join me next week, and remember, right now, all you need to do to make your idea a reality is take the very next step you know how to. Bye!